Krishna Priya Dasa progressed all the way to the finals of the 2016 Miss India Worldwide pageant, but that merely marked the end of a chapter and not the story. Vishal met up with this dynamic young woman in Durban recently. And the winner is contestant number 20, Krishna Priya Dasa. Winning the Miss India South Africa title took Krishna to the finals of the international pageant in India, the country of her birth. But she had established strong roots on our continent and she's back on our shores, entertaining and informing the listeners to her daily life and lifestyle show. Hi guys, you're with Krishna Priya Das and this is Lotus FM Life and Style. Hello. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Long time. Last time was at your crowning. Nice to South Africa. Can you recall what happened? You mixed up my name. Only in my defense because I was so mesmerized by your beauty. Well, I've got it right now. It's Krishna Priya Yeah, you mixed up my name. I'm so glad you got it right this time. Well, you are now a Lotus FM producer. What's that like? Yeah, life and style. Can you imagine that's like Miss India South Africa and now life and style? It's been amazing. Tell me more about your show. Life and Style is a women's lifestyle magazine program and our core audience is women, 30 and plus. And we have different features Mondays to Fridays. And we focus on different things. On Mondays, it's health. Tuesdays, it's topical Tuesdays. Wednesdays, we do legal and a bit of calendar stuff, actually. Thursdays, we have a cooking show. So we get the chefs to come in and share recipes with the listeners. And Fridays is a feel-good Friday, where we get listeners to come and call us and give us those feel-good stories. How have the listeners responded to the show? The response has been great, Michelle. I heard that you are a big foodie. Well, I am born in India. I hope you remember that right. I do. I, I know so it all. So if I'm born in India, that tells you all about it. I love Indian food. Well, I'm from Cape Town, and I thought instead of asking you to show me a good Durban place, I'm going to surprise you. Really? You have a surprise? I do. Are you ready to follow me? Yeah, let's go. Michelle had come to hear of a place of pilgrimage for the Spice Cult not too far from the studios in Durban's CBD. In addition to supplying all the ingredients for traditional Indian dishes, the establishment also caters for customers with an appetite that needs immediate satisfaction. How awesome does this place look? It reminds me of India. Well, that's the whole idea. Now, this is your domain, so I'm going to leave you to it. So, uh, Bhai Sahib, we have to give this one and one bell puri. Yes, I'll give it to you. And you won't get piyaj and lassan. You won't get piyaj and lassan. That one's calling my name. Without onion, it's batata vada. This is without piyaj. Yes. What's please in Hindi? Merbani. Limbu pani. Merbani? Okay, shukriya. Thank you. Shukriya. Yes, merbani. I have so many questions for you. Oh, let's go. The signs brought back memories of India and Krishna kept Michelle fascinated while they waited for their order to be prepared. Ah. Ah. Oh wow. Look at that. Mm. Shukriya. Shukriya. This looks incredible. The year of your reign, what was that like and how did you grow as an individual? Miss India South Africa has been so amazing that it's something I would never forget. Uh, my motto in life was to bring a smile on the faces of everyone that I meet and I actually got to do that so it made me feel so happy. You had an opportunity to go to Bollywood, what was that like? With ZTV, yes. And uh, I have auditioned and I'm just waiting for the feedback. You speak Hindi fluently and I've been watching your YouTube videos, it's hilarious. What inspired you to do that? Because of acting. I really, really am big on Bollywood and acting. And I aspire to become an actress someday. So I've started doing my own acting videos uh, to get my name out there so people know that I am a potential actress. And, you know, fingers crossed, one day Bollywood. Hi, Satya Nas. So, what do we do, Amma? She had to see the dabbu to the dabbu. Hi, Ram. Baap, re, baap. Amma, listen. We have to go and go and be a heroine. Dabbu. Now, your heritage is pretty awesome. An Indian mom and an Italian dad. Uh -huh. Best of both worlds. I can focus on the 
modern bit from my dad and then obviously the more Indian cultural one from my mom. And I think when I mix them both into life, I'm able to bring out so much more. You studied psychology. What do you hope to do with the qualification? The reason I did psychological counselling is because I like helping people and studying their minds. So I wanted to help people and counsel them. And that is why I actually majored in that. And I wish to open my own practice someday. Now, I hope you haven't been analysing me. Oh, well, I already am. <laughs> do you think beauty pageants are still relevant? And why do you believe that there is such a stigma attached to it? I think that uh, with beauty pageants, there's always a stigma that, you know, all the girls that enter have no brains. They're just beautiful. But I've proved them wrong because to actually be on stage and have that confidence takes a lot. And I think if you ever reprimand it and say, you know what, um, it's nothing, then you should actually put yourself in that position and try it out because it takes a lot, a lot of courage. You have undertaken Indian classical dance. How's that coming on? Well, let's see, I started doing that since 2014 and I did that for all the three pageants and guess what? I won the top talent with classical dancing, only doing it for two and a half years, but it actually takes 12 years to graduate. Where do you see yourself in the future? I really want to be an actress, so hopefully in the big screen, Bollywood, yeah. By now, the snacks had cooled sufficiently and it was time for the taste test. So good. Krishna Priya lives by the saying, I am strong and fearless because I have been raised in the guidance of a lioness who knew no other way. So now I know no other way. A perfect mantra as she conquers the world. <laughs>